the end goal is always the Olympics. The Marines have given me a job, it's like a mission. You know, they, they've, they've, they've thrown down the goal. They said, this is what we need to do. Um, I know where I need to get to, to pull the results. So, you know, uh, that's, that's what I'm aiming for. The basic story of it was, is it took me six months from starting training to the, the British trials, which is for the, the British squad, which I took the bronze medal that put me third in Britain. Six months later, I got the full-time sports draft, uh, uh, all confirmed and stuff. Uh, I moved up to Edinburgh and we started full-time training. Six months later, I was British number one. When I looked at what I wanted to do, I knew I wanted to do something that was honourable and something that was, that was really hard and, sh you know, really made you a man, you know? So <laughs> I signed up, much to my mum and dad's dismay. <laughs> there was a shortage um, of people taking up jobs in the Marines at the time. So um, when the, the GD drafts came around, general duties, um, I wasn't allowed one. I was told I had to take a specialisation. So um, ha having a mechanical background from when I was a kid, I, uh, I decided to become a VM. For me, it wasn't, it wasn't physical enough. You know, I mean, they still take you away on exercise and stuff. They still take you shooting and stuff, but I was missing that marine bit of it, you know, the actual getting in the gritty. So basically, I, I focused on my sports. Uh, started playing rugby, played for the Navy, combined services side, league and union, um, and then I burnt out and I needed another outlet. Um, I did judo when I was about eight till I was about ten. Wasn't very good at it. <laughs> Didn't do very well. Um, so I thought, you know, I'll just go and give it a go. Judo is the commando of all sports. It is so, so long and hard and tough. I do all of my training at Judo Scotland. They support us, they provide us with coaches, um, everything that we need for the Judo they provide us with, joined to the Scottish Institute of Sport, who provides us with physios and everything else that Judo Scotland can't. It's really hard. It's every day, day in, day out, and you just want to go home and just collapse. But you can't because you've got to eat. <laughs> The buzz in doing judo is the fight. It's the fight itself. Um, every judo player trains really, really hard. So every judo player you come up against, you know, it is like an actual fight for your life. I've had both my shoulders stabilized and fixed. My kneecap got dislodged and gouged by my own leg. I've gone 90 degree with my ankle sideways and over. There's also fingers and toes as well. Doing a lot of grip fighting dislocates your fingers quite a bit. So, you, you know, your, your knuckles and joints become exploded and uh, that's fun in winter. But to be honest, there's probably not one part of my body that hasn't taken an effect from the judo. The sport may hurt you, but you've got to stay in it long enough to be good enough to actually get that. So I'm here to get the job done. Um, I should make it as long as I keep myself one piece. Think long, think hard. Think about what you really want. A sports draft is one thing if you're good enough. Think about if you have what it takes and you can stand the sacrifice because it will take over your life. I would love to get my Olympic medal. I would love to get a Commonwealth medal. And then I would love to return to my job and actually return to doing what I'm supposed to be doing because I really miss it. I miss the lifestyle. I miss the fun. I miss the banter. And um, as good as the Judah boys are, it's not the same. <laughs> it's just not the same. That's almost it for this edition. But if you've got any feedback or suggestions for the next, then please get in touch. But just before we go, here's a quick message from Ross Kemp. The Royal Marines Charitable Trust is your charity and you and your family are all potential beneficiaries. It's just a day's pay or you can help by organising and enjoying fundraising events. 
Remember, it's run by you, for you and your families. So put your hands in your pockets or go out there and have some fun and help your oppos.